Welcome VOD gamers. Look, it's that one video game. It's back. Okay, where the heck is the main freaking quest? Yep, Breath of the Wild, exactly. Oh, right. Login stuff. New character. That's okay. I don't care. Complete rainfalls. Okay. Uh-huh. 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 Oh, new world boss. Should I just do, uh... <laughs> just trial run with the Shadow Tower? Just to get me back in the habit of playing this freaking game? Oh. I was supposed to stay all the way over here. Well, that's funny. Yeah, Spiral Abyss. I honestly, I forgot what it was even called. It's been so long. Wee, Dude, I'm so used to like Zelda now where I get to actually control my character in the air. But nope. Use the egg. There you go. What's this? Ah, uh, yes. What? Wake up, gang. You don't believe in the prophecy? No, no, I believe in the prophecy. But I also believe in another story. Why are they so quiet? I gotta turn them up. Says that people once lived in the ocean. They were one with the ocean and couldn't live apart from it. But as time wore on, people desired to live on land and developed blood vessels why don't i use twitch to live stream because i hate twitch it's stupid i don't like what it represents it's better for notifications and stuff that's for sure but the platform itself is just evil i mean youtube's evil too but why am i talking to this random side character like what does he have to do with the main freaking quest bro all right let me get the volume up for you guys Uh, I think that's what I usually have it at. You know what? Let's pump it up to eight. You guys can let me know if it's too loud or quiet. Hey, bro. So you're the blonde traveler that everyone's been talking about. Yes. My apologies for not recognizing you earlier. So, I mean, I guess I should mention too, like today we're going to be going through the quest here uh, a little bit. I am planning on like bringing Genshin back to the channel. I think it's been a long enough time that I'm cool with it. Uh, but it's going to kind of be very laser focused content. So I'll be going through story iterations. And then, of course, when new characters come out, I'll have my character um, showcases again. But I got to catch up on everything. I got to get back into this game. Oh, a magic pocket? What? <laughs> seems you really thought of everything. I guess it's better to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. A magic pocket? Oh, please, also thank the magician on my behalf when you get the chance. Okay. Uh, well, this will get me over here. Hello, random NPC. That's part of the main quest. I don't want that thing. The way I see it, if the prophecy's true, it's still gonna be a long time before the water can cover everything. Life is all about living in the moment. What use is there in worrying about the future all the time? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Wait, so the world's gonna drown in water? That's not a good prophecy. Hey, Azeroth. You should still take it. You never know when it'll come in handy. Oh, all right, fine. Thanks. I'm pretty far behind as far as this main story stuff is concerned. And frankly speaking, I don't have much time to stream today. I was gonna stream Trove, but <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw the servers got taken offline because um because there was duping again. Oh, you already handed out all of the magic pockets? Hmm. That was fast. So, what did people have to say? I bet you heard some uh, interesting opinions. Wait, about what? They just talked about the water drowning the world. 
Yes, but that will change once disaster strikes. I know they'll change the hey, so it's only right to help them prepare. Yeah, I'm I haven't heard any of the music yet, so I'm curious. Is there anything else you need to do before we leave? Yes, I'm sure it's good. It's Genshin after all. I have the magic pockets made by a workshop in the corner. Dude. <laughs> Since we're out and about, I was thinking about bringing him some more materials. I cannot unsee. Like, he keeps saying magic pocket. I just think pizza pops. So, you want to collect materials? Just tell us what the materials look like and we'll help. Oh, that would be much appreciated. We'll need some Romaritime flowers. I remember seeing them near the waterfront on the east side of the harbor. Sweet. Oh, also, you know what? No. Up. There we go. Uh, let's just get rid of my wishes here. Just because they're in the way. And I need my glint stone or whatever the heck it's called. I don't know where my pity is. It's probably broken because I already just got that magician kid. I just don't care. I don't care if I get this error character either. I just want to get my wishes out of here because otherwise they're distracting me. There we go. Garbage. Okay, cool. What am I supposed to collect? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Voodoo. I kind of low-key thought that I might have gotten him. What? Collect the resources used to make magic pockets okay how do i collect them unless that's them do i gotta hit these with air or water or something uh how, how do i actually like gather these though ice hey multi Oh, right. I keep forgetting that we've got this new screen. Hydro? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Do I even have a Hydro character? Ooh. Ooh. You know what? Who am I kidding? The only two characters I need, I've got right here. Wait, can I do this? Eh. Oh, that works. Eh. Problem is I don't... Well... I was going to say I don't have a healer, but I got my Benny. <clears throat> Please make a geometry test video. Uh, <laughs> I'm not interested in that game, although I appreciate the sentiment. I've seen enough videos on it. Like, I know it's a good game. It's just, it's not really my thing. Frankly speaking, like, gaming is about to go pretty nutty. Like, we got Lords of the Fallen tomorrow, and the next week we've already got Sonic, Mario, and Spider-Man 2. On top of all the games coming with the Steam Next Fest going on right now, and other stuff. <laughs> She's obviously a thief. Magicians and thieves practice... I'm not saying never. I could do probably like a one-off Geometry Dash video. ...one that won't discover what you're really doing. Watch her movements carefully. Whose movements? What? Pickpocket? Oh, dude, no, it's the perfect time if you need flux. Just go on Trove right now. There's flux duping again. Shh, keep your voice down. We need to think of a way to catch her, but it seems she's very alert. Is someone using an auto clicker? I just see the hearts. <laughs> it's such a weird feature for YouTube to add. All right, let's go. Okay, sweet. I'm like not super invested in whatever the heck we're trying to do, but. Oh, God. Okay. Well, then. Wait, how do I... There we go. I'm so used to other video games now, where I press back to open my map. I'm not riding up this lift ever again. Ah, uh, yes. Hello, mademoiselle. You're under arrest. Um... There's nowhere to run. That's the elevator. Like what? You're right. She might also be trying to lure us away. 
You wait, but there's no sign of the thief. Yeah, because we should have pursued, but okay. Let's go find him. Please stop talking, Paimon. Where? What? Oh, now down at the bottom again. Oh, never mind. Are you sure that's all she took? You should check to make sure you're not missing anything else. N no. I forgot I had Zoa. Hell yeah. Oh, I can't thank you enough. Anyway, I should be going. Ah. Thanks again. Uh, you're welcome, bro. <laughs> That's right. Pity I wasn't able to catch her. She distracted me by dropping the thing she stole on the ground. By the time I looked back, she was already gone. I saw the general direction she went, but Lenny twisted his ankle, and I needed to make sure he was okay. <laughs> what? Oh, did you get hurt, Lenny? I'll be alright. It's just a twisted ankle, that's all. In fact, it's feeling better already. Dude, we're in a world with gods. And healers and stuff, and you got a twisted ankle? Like, he's literally a mage. If you wanna play it being There's a girl next to you that has cat ears. And you get a twisted ankle? to derail our performance as a result. You're right, you're right. Sorry, Lynette. Does that mean he has B.O.? Because his armpit's, like, being showcased right there? I have to admit that the thief was even more skilled than I had anticipated. But at least we were able to get the stolen items back, so it wasn't a complete failure. What a slippery little thief! Guess things turned out all right in the end, though. Lenny's initiative paid off! All right, let's put this little detour behind us. We should go to the Court of Fontaine now. Yeah, that's the thing, though, Bobby. Like, like, yeah, I hope that the story picks up. Not, you know, it's fine. You know, at this point, I'm just so used to Genshin just wasting time. But I'm just sitting here thinking, like, what does this have to do with the main story? Like, this is like side quest quality, you know? But I guess that's just Genshin. Hey, Eli. So, we ride this thing to go into the city? I've already rode it before, Paimon. This is an aqua bus. It allows people to travel between several key locations around Fontaine. Uh, hey, Tyrant. It's pretty convenient, but the ride can become a little dull after a while. Nah, it's it's just the way that it goes, Kifa. Like the thing is, I kind of made a trade-off between like what was popular and what I wanted to do. And let's be real, like Trove's kind of the main game, and this has been a year of garbage oh, with that so game. It's, it, I mean, to be fair, the whole game has just slowly declined. Like, I still enjoy it, but this year sucked. Don't worry, bro. When Hytale comes out, then I'll actually have a game that I can play that'll also be popular and exciting at the same time. It's about time for us to leave. Let's get on board. I'm I'm content. I don't care. That's that's what my other more recent video was talking about. Like more so it was just saying like screw YouTube. I don't care. I'm I'm tired of the rat race of it all. Hey yogurt. Hello. Excuse me. Aren't you the great magician Linny? And his assistant. Who is this? Hello. I don't believe we've Okay. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Dear God, does every character have to show so much skin? Nice to meet you. From the Steambird, huh? We've often relied on your paper to promote our performances. It's an honor to meet you. Wait. Like it's gotten a lot worse. Who's <laughs> been making headline after headline in their journey across Tibet? Yeah, that's me. Amazing. You recognize everybody almost immediately. <laughs> I wouldn't be much of a reporter if I didn't know who's who, would I? Wow. Today must be my day. Who knew I would end up on the same boat as so many VIPs? Dude, these characters are like character models out of VR chat or like VTubers. Like, I, I don't know. I'm just not interested in any of them. <laughs> hey, I mean. What do you usually report on? Well, when there isn't any breaking news, I mainly cover the trials at the Opera House. 
could still manage to keep readers' attention as long as you tell things from a clever enough angle. For example, reporting on how a scammer once deceived vulnerable girls into relationships. She was from the card game event? Yeah, I figured she's like a free four-star material. She looks cooler than the mage kid, though. Exclusive, sensational news pieces that could shake the country. These smaller stories are a waste of my talents. What happened to the days when people cast at the sight of an ankle? Uh, that is a little too far, but... I just remember. Like... I'm a case lately. Well, a series of cases, actually. You mean the... But no, it's just, it's just like... I feel like Genshin always kind of had this nice fine line. Um, you know, with it, and now, now it's just like it feels like it's just desperate. If I'm the first with a draft ready to publish when the case is finally cracked. I still find it so odd that this game doesn't have like a skip button for the dialogue. So, what is the serial disappearance? Yep, yeah, I heard Roblox was on PS5. Uh, sweet. More people can enjoy garbage games like the Pet Sim games. This is so interesting. I wonder if it has anything to do with the main plot. Yes, it's possible. But either way, I believe that every case has some precise truth behind it, waiting to be exposed. Yes, I agree. And at the very least, the family of those missing girls deserves some sort of explanation. Do you think that we could wait? I just imagined. Oh, look at that. It auto progresses. Uh, okay. I'd pay any price to get her back. It auto progresses because we're on rails right now. So if we got all the way, please don't imagine that, <laughs> If we got all the way to town, like I wonder what would have happened. But nope. Oh, you continue talking for no reason, and before you know it, you've arrived at the destination. It'll keep me occupied till Spider Man. Spider Man's in like a week, man. It's so crazy how fast it's time's passing. Oh, sweet. It's the city from Atomic Heart. How, wait, how did we get up here? Oh, well. It looks cool and all, like it still looks great. It's just so uninspired, you know? That's just my opinion of the art direction in Fontaine. I wonder what's going to happen with Genshin with all the Unity fiasco. I think they went back on all of that, right? Like on all their words. And then didn't the CEO resign? Like the guy who yelled about all of those Unity changes in the first place? Idiot. How to destroy your company. I mean, frankly speaking... I'm pretty sure he uh, he put that announcement out to make the Unity uh, stock tank. Then he bought a bunch of it up, and now he's like retired. Funny, because I thought uh, you know manipulating stock was illegal, but. No, thank you. I don't think I will. What a tough job. Always running around and interviewing everyone. <sighs> well, where should we go now? If you don't mind, how about we stop by my home first? Besides, I still have all the materials we collected. Sure, we wouldn't mind at all. This city is so huge, I might want to know where to start anyway. I wish Traveler talked at this point, man. Anything would be better than Paimon. I'd settle for a rat as a sidekick. Ooh. Well, that's pretty. <laughs> it looks like a Lego city. In any other game, it'd be like kind of exciting, but... Yep. 
Yeah, I don't know what happened with me with Genshin Tyrant, but I just kind of lost interest in it. I'm, I'm back to it now, but I'm going to be taking it like super casual, you know? Oh yeah, I finished Tears of the Kingdom. I, I clocked in like three, four hundred hours with a, within a very short time frame, which is pretty... Uh, I'm not saying that in a, in a weird flex way or anything. I'm saying it like that game is just so good. But I pretty much did everything. This is our current abode. Ah, Fremine, your home. Now I'll just wait for the Tears of the Kingdom DLC. I have some new friends that I would like to introduce. Oh, they all just went out a moment ago. Ah. Oh. I see. Everyone is getting busier now that Father will be returning soon. I suppose that can't be helped. Allow me to introduce you to my little brother, Fremine. He is a phenomenal diver. Uh. Hello. Dork alert! Dork alert! Loser! Nice to meet you! Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler! Oh, you sound very proud to have a diver as a brother, Linny. I mean, I can dive too, but yes, what a talented family. <laughs> the Elden Ring DLC, I'm, I'm still expecting they'll announce it at Game of the Year Awards, and then it'll probably be spring or summer of next year. Hopefully. Uh, Linny, could you come here for a moment? I'm waiting for an excuse to go back to Elden Ring. I, I was grinding my character, but when I saw how difficult it was to max out my stats, I gave up. Uh, I did get like 70 in every stat, though. Hmm? What is it, Fremine? Do you have something to tell me? It's all right. Go ahead. I don't care. I'm right here. Why can't I hear them? Like what? He's not whispering. Okay, I see. Is everything all right? Yeah, it's fine. Hey, see, Bass. Oh, it's nothing. We Sevis. Were discussing a little housework. Sorry for the interruption. I know the New World DLC actually looks good, but I just don't have the time to dedicate to it. Before I forget, the Traveler and I collected more materials to make magic pockets. Were you able to get any, Fremine? Yes. Pizza Pops. I went diving and gathered lots of materials. I was about to give them to you. Oh my god, I hate him. That's our Fremine. Always quick with the underwater work. All right, I'll take these to the workshop. Uh, cool. Oh no, it's raining, guys. Comment on it. Comment on the rain. Hmm. Looks like rain. Yep. Oh, you're right. But wasn't it clear and sunny just a moment ago? Hmm. Fontaine's weather sure is weird. No, it's just normal weather, Paimon. That happened like what? <laughs> I'm afraid that's Is this foreshadowing? <laughs> it often rains on days where there are trials being held in the opera house, but don't worry, it'll clear up soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Rain makes me depressed. There's a legend about the rain that I tend to believe. Oh my god, here we go. It is foreshadowing. <laughs> it's said that a dragon of water once resided in Fontaine. Though we don't know where the dragon went, every time it weeps, the skies will cloud up and pour out rain. Okay. When I was a child, my mother told me that if I wanted to go outside and play, I should yell toward the sky at the top of my lungs. And that's when I blew out my vocal cords, and now I sound like this. Hydro Dragon. Hydro Dragon. Don't cry. Don't cry, Hydro Dragon! If it's an elemental dragon, <laughs> then having the power to make it rain wouldn't be very unusual. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, hey, Rain. You showed up at the perfect time. The game summoned you. Hmm. When you get to the prison, you'll see the foreshadowing is about... Yeah, yeah, no, I, I just think it's funny how, like... You know, it's rained before, but the one time they comment about it, like, Genshin's writing, sorry to say, but it's so basic. Like, you can see the plot points coming a mile away. I'm not saying that I can see what the foreshadowing is about or anything, and I don't want you guys to spoil it. I know I'm behind. I didn't need- Shut up! Don't talk ever again, Paimon. Doesn't seem to be of any use. It is just a legend, after all. 
You know, you might be a more popular magician if you understood the concept of romanticism. Or could at least play along. I don't know if you understand what that means. <laughs> Sorry. It might be because we've never met the Hydro Dragon. Perhaps it can't be comforted by the words of strangers. Okay. Hmm. It rained for longer than I suspected. Oh, it's already getting late. Uh, cool. Chubb, what are you doing? Yeah, some preparations for the show at the Opera House. I need to find a way to catch the last Aquabus of the day. On the day of the performance, <laughs> just ride the Aquabus to the island. Sorry, she was just like digging on her bed. <laughs> you at the fountain in front of the Opera House. Hey, Spooky! Oh, uh, are you leaving now? Oh my god, like, just shoot him out of a cannon. What is it, Fremine? I'm in a hurry. Oh, I get it. You feel nervous delivering the materials for the magic pockets, is that it? Perhaps we could trouble the traveler to help us take these materials to the Beaumont workshop. Okay, of course. The owner there? Yeah, I'll do everything for you. I'm afraid that Fremine can be quite introverted. And the boss there tends to be pretty talkative. Fremine has always been a little afraid of her. No trouble at all! Don't worry, we're on the case! Sorry for the inconvenience. I'm quite useless when it comes to such tasks. I'll think of a way to make it up to you. Oh. Okay. You could give me your hat. Oh, no need, no need. This will be a walk in the park for us. Uh-oh. It's gonna go very wrong very fast, isn't it? Alright, where does it want me to go now? Eh. Not too far. I still, I still wish that you could, like, swap to whatever character and have, like, movement speed of every character, you know, instead of having to always use a tall guy. Uh, hello? Is there anyone here? Oh, does Star Rail actually have good endgame content, or are you maxed out for, like, a year? Because <laughs> that's the thing. With Genshin, it takes a while to actually, like, get to the point where there's no content left. AR-35. <laughs> You're just looking for a chat with me. Oh no, we're just here to deliver some materials. Here they are. They're for making. Uh. What were they called again? Dynamite. Ah, these must be for magic pockets. I could tell right away. I've already made several orders worth now. Do we need to pay? No, no need. They've already prepaid several batches worth. When they told me what they'd be using them for, I even offered them a discount. But they insisted on paying the full amount. Saying that I had a business to run. <laughs> it seems both their hearts and their pockets are made of gold. Wow. So, is Linny actually loaded? Mm, I can't say for sure, but who knows? Maybe there's good money to be made being a magician in Fontaine. Hey, is this machine what you use to make stuff here? It looks really advanced. Yeah, that's so advanced. Why use your hands when a machine can do the work? It would be a waste not to use the latest technology. Oh, so this is Factorio. But where does a big machine like that get its power from? Ah, uh, well... Oh my god. The exposition, <laughs> man. I'm not sure I can put it in layman's terms for you, but basically, everything we usually use here in the city is powered by indemnidium. It's a type of energy that's produced from trials. Yeah, I mean, that's not really that surprising. Like, I literally came from the heavens. I, I'm an alien. What? Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually an alien. I can take any element. Um, I have a floating diaper baby right beside me. So you having energy to power your machines is not really that surprising. In fact, out in the wild, I've encountered all sorts of mechanical atrocities ever since the beginning of the game. So seeing a, a manually controlled uh, or automatic anvil is nothing surprising uh but no let's act like it's something new well i'm not completely sure of all the details myself but yeah tell me more explain everything about it when a trial is in session the oratrice mechanique d'analyse cardinale harvests people's belief in justice and converts it into energy to be used all around fontaine <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. 
Can you repeat that? So when people go to court, their sadness is what powers the machines? So that's what its other function is? What? Hyman heard that the orange was created by the Archon to make judgments. What the hell? like people's beliefs be turned into a stable power source for these machines i mean like not venti and nahita both said the gods rely on belief to obtain power no what about dane's leaf remember the first quest with him that was really cool and then they gave up on him oh yeah so that means the hydro archon relies on the machine to take the energy created oh my god i don't need an explanation for how energy works in this fictional universe thank you very much by the power of the archon yeah okay got it find you hard at work but here you are chatting the day away since you're you, you again didn't i already promise you that i'd have the more i owe to confer re of cover wait what's going on are these treasure hoarders are you hounding me now yeah but how do we know that you won't go running off by the end of this month i want 50 percent today wait no 70 percent huh you okay so she i want to be clear here guys she's in the wrong she owes these people seems business isn't so great for the workshop we've already finished our job but for whatever reason we're probably going to like attack them hey hold on before you go around trying to collect oh debts, look why don't you settle your own debts first is he gonna kill them if confrary of cabriere wants <laughs> to poach clients from northland bank that's fine but i'm afraid you still owe the bank a hefty sum of mora so why don't we work things out between us first before you get back to your little conversation here <laughs> like was he just standing there ah uh, you're from uh, northland bank uh, but we said we'll pay everything we owe next month why are you hounding me now uh, traveler paimon yeah, i didn't see you there with my back face to you what are the chances hello my rival we're surprised to see you too you didn't want to stay in Stejnaya? <laughs> Long story short, I've already been in Fontaine for some time now. And honestly, things have been pretty boring. But it seems that fate brought our paths together today. Not only will I have some good friends here now, but ones who always seem to find trouble. Either way you look at it, it seems things are going to get a lot more interesting now. Pretty sure we good. to avoid anything that you'd find interesting. D shut up, Paimon. Uh, hey, you. Northland Bank boy. Aren't you forgetting something? Don't interrupt. It's not often I run into the traveler like this. Why don't you wait for me over there for a while? Uh, you kidding? Aren't you the one looking for us? You really expect us to sit and twiddle our thumbs while you catch up with your friends? Listen to me, boy. If you want your Mora, fine. Why don't you come and take it? Uh... Hey, I just said not to interrupt. Oh, by the way, Traveler, the last time I took Tonya and Tuser ice fishing, Tuser said, Hey! Who's? Way over the line! All right, boys, let's see who has to pay <laughs> up now! They are treasure hoarders! Can you at least let me finish one sentence? Fine. Though the bank told me not to get rough with our clients. Let me beat them up instead. Me, 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 me. The ones who started it. This is an act of self defense. Me, 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 me. Come on. You have to be my witnesses, okay? I'm sure this won't take long. Can I? No, I want to beat them up. I don't want to see you in a cutscene do it. Um. Oh. Oh, right. Because Child was like in the banner at the time. So it makes sense that they would have him as like a child character or whatever. All right. Let's uh, break their spines. Oh, I can't ragdoll them with Child, though. <laughs> hey, I just treasure hoarders. Hey, Eli. What's your deal, Brad? How are you so strong if you're just a staffer from Snezhnaya's Northland Bank? Wait, don't tell me you're... Oh, now you notice. It's a little late, don't you think? Just make sure you understand that you don't mess with Northland Bank. Got it? Uh... Huh? Now's my chance. Huh. That was weird. 
Was it supposed to be that his power got taken away or something? I'm sure they'll explain everything. It's as if I suddenly lost control of my hydro powers when I needed them. Maybe there's something wrong with my vision? Or it's the Hydro Archon. Strange. How could that happen? First time Paimon's ever heard of someone losing control of their vision. Really? That's the first time? What about in freaking Inazuma? Never mind. It doesn't matter. If I want to stay sharp, I shouldn't be relying too much on my vision anyway. Besides, I always have my delusion in case I need it. Yeah, true. What are you doing in Fontaine, child? I don't see its work for Northland Bank. Well, I guess it's because I've been in a bad mood lately. Ah, uh, me too, brother. Me too. Wait, since when do you feel down about anything? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I still have a lot to learn about myself. Was Inazuma different? Oh, right. Yeah, I guess that's true. There seems to be some sort of rest in a while stirring inside of me. And I don't know why, but every now and then I feel like I'm in a terrible mood. It's kind of like maybe I'm the only one who feels this way. But coming to the story like after when the characters aren't in the banner, like this is very jarring. Like child's here just out of nowhere. And like it's just jumping characters to give them like a quick introduction and be like, hey, look. Look at this new shiny character. Don't you want to wish for it in the banner? You know? Like, it doesn't really do anything for the sake of the narrative. Uh, it's like, I wonder how much of the story's butchering is because of the writer or because they're trying to sell product. Hmm. Product being the characters in the game, you know? It just, it really holds the game back from having a more interesting story. Hmm. That is a possibility. I can't remember if I ever mentioned it before, but when I was 14, I fell into some unknown abyss. Okay. It was during that time I learned nearly all of my abilities. The one who took me under her wing and taught me was named Skirk. Okay. She was always quiet and very mysterious. Nobody knew where she came from or what she had been through, and she was always very strict when teaching me combat techniques. One time, I asked her why she was willing to take me on as an apprentice. From what I could make of her answer, it was because I had awakened it, and traces of it remained on me. She said that all my combat training would be useful in the future. But what is it? What did you awaken? Uh, it's called a deus ex machina, Paimon. She never explained that, but my guess is that it's related to a dream I saw when I had just fallen into that abyss. In my dream, I was in the deepest depths of the sea, and the boundless seabed was all around me. But in front of me appeared a whale that was so massive, I felt like I couldn't breathe. A whale? Oh, that sounds familiar! When we fought against you before, <laughs> you summoned a huge whale that seemed to leap at us. Is that the one? <laughs> they're really... Okay, so they're drawing into that. All right. That's just an abstract form of a whale that I create using my elemental powers. It takes that shape because the scene I dreamt of the whale has always been stuck in my mind. I'll never forget it. So you used the whale as inspiration for one of your moves? Huh. Seems a little twisted to pine. Oh, I know Azeroth. Don't get me started, dude. So why don't you just go ask Gaming nowadays, like... There's very few games nowadays that are developed by people that are passionate about making video games because unfortunately, so easy. like, ever since the incident, I on one hand, gaming's as good as it can ever be because the companies that are actually pushing the medium of video games, they have a stable income now. <laughs> you know, there's no crash of video games anymore. There isn't even a trace of the place where I remember falling. But the problem is that because gaming is so successful now we've got people literally going to college to be game designers because it's a stable career not because it's something that calls to them or because they want to make like the best game ever made you know oh, it sounds like some kind of ghost story. that's why games like Baldur's gate this year like just explode in popularity like it's not a game for me but i'm really glad that i like pushed myself to really try it because it's like i totally get it i understand why people were giving so much praise to it I'm out of leads at this point. Because that's one of the rare opportunities where it's a triple-A company that still manages to be passionate about making video games and not just making a profit. And then the irony is that the company that's actually willing to 
put money back into the product usually ends up making, you know, a better game and thus making more money. It's the same as how Genshin could have been way better than it is now. Obviously, they're still making so much money they don't care. Seems the time really flies when I'm talking But to you. it's disappointing. I just remembered I have somewhere else I need to be. So I should get going. Wait, more work for the Northland Bank? Uh, no, it's more of a personal appointment. Lately, I've been sparring with some of Fontaine's official champion duelists whenever I'm feeling bored. Cool. Champion duelists? Yeah, no, I know that's what gacha is all about, and gacha games have existed for like a billion years. Before a criminal goes to court, they're given one chance to defend their honor by requesting a duel with an official champion duelist. Wait, what? <laughs> champion duelists are all powerful fighters selected from among the nation's best. And the duel itself is a no-holds-barred fight with no specified stopping point. So you can kill them before they go on trial? <laughs> So engaging in such a duel what? is regarded as a symbol of defending your honor. If a criminal manages to win the duel, they'll be acquitted. But if they lose, they'll have no choice but to stand trial. I don't really get the feeling that this like hoity-toity French society of Fontaine with like their advance in technology is secretly harboring like caveman tribal like what? And the worst case scenario is that you're simply killed in the duel. I mean, is this Thunderdome? Though it's rumored that Fontaine has a death penalty. From what I can tell, no one has ever been officially sentenced to death. So really, the only people who opt to duel are those who have suffered a grave injustice in being accused. Or those who... Kind of just ramped up to 11 really quick, didn't it? So, do many people actually get out of their trials by winning the duel? Apparently, it's exceedingly rare for anyone to actually win. I don't know anything about Star Rail. As a way to show that the nation respects the honor of its citizens. I just, I could read the writing in the wall and all I saw Star Rail as was, oh, this is a product. Besides, none of the champion duelists are to be trifled with, which is exactly why I was itching to face them as soon as I got to Fontaine. Sweet. Apparently, the one I'm meeting today, Clorend, is the strongest of the champion duelists. Oh, nice. I had been asking her for some time before she finally agreed to face me today. Well, that's child for ya. Hmm. Paimon feels like we heard that name somewhere before. Floran. I'm terrible at remembering names. Oh, before I forget, I want you to have this. What? Huh? What? I'm just worried that it could become uncontrollable again. I'd be pretty upset if it got in the way of my duel. So, I think I'll be better off without it for now. <laughs> That's convenient. <laughs> Besides, I just need you to hold on to it for a short while. I'll come retrieve it when I have some time later. I'm a okay. To you. you just want an excuse to come talk to us again, don't you? <laughs> Whatever gave you that idea? I'll be in touch later. Sneaky guy. He said he's been feeling down lately, but he seemed to Oh, like, like as they add, like some events that they add to Star Rail actually stay? Is that what you mean? <sighs> well, seems we don't have much to do for now. We might as well walk around and see the city before Lenny's performance. No, that's okay. Let's just go there. Under Paimon's enthusiastic leadership, because she's the main character of the game. <laughs> Wait, the Charlotte reporter? What? What? Did it just skip over it because the event's not here anymore? Uh, sorry, Paima was just surprised. That's all. <sighs> Paima never saw that twist coming. The murder mystery novels here are. A oh, okay. Never mind. They're talking about it's just the manga of this region. All right. It just was so abrupt that, like, I didn't know what she was talking about. My mom thinks this style of novels are more, well, novel. It's so exciting to reach the moment when the mystery is uncovered, especially in the one. I'm good. Oh, sorry about that. Paimon will be more careful next time. Yeah, thank you. Uh, hey, shouldn't we be heading to the opera house to 
see Linny's performance soon? Yeah, I guess we should. Uh, uh, okay, I'm just gonna follow the breadcrumb trail because I honestly don't know how I'm supposed to get up there. Unless this is an elevator in the middle there. But there's a viewpoint. It is quite beautiful, as usual. Like, the thing is, like, these... I, that's the one thing I will say about, like, companies nowadays, like, AAA companies and junk. They got map design, like, down pat. Like, it's just so large and so detailed, you know? Whoops. I should have actually looked and saw, but... But it's like the spectacle of it all is like so impressive and even the music's really good. It actually kind of undermines the rest of the game, unfortunately. Can I just drop down to that floor or? Oh yeah, there we go. All right, so the game was lying to me. Dude, I wish I had a send from Zelda. Like, legit. Best ability in any video game. Oh my god. Okay, it's the third floor. Rip. There we go. Nice. Yeah, it's good that Star Rail is actually adding content. The thing is, they, they specifically said they're not going to add anything to Genshin until the game starts failing in sales, which has not happened yet, unfortunately. Uh, do I have to actually ride it though? Oh my god, I do. Okay. How do you do? When does the... immediately? What? Oh. Alright. Is this even, like, I wonder if it would be faster for me to just use Wanderer, but I should change my party, actually, in case we do fight something. The destination of the current is <clears throat> Points of interest were visiting include the past okay. scene and the opera and the quest. Yeah, it's faster to just run. That's how you know it's bad, man. Like, what the heck? I don't know why they have this, like, taxi thing here. It's just kind of weird. But that's the big thing that I feel, like, kind of... I'm not going to say, like, kept me away from the game. Like, obviously, there's a lot of things that I dislike about this game. But the big thing was just the fact that the movement and controls, like, didn't ever get refined, you know? Like, why don't we have mounts or, you know, just better movement in the game, frankly speaking. Enter. Wee. Where is this taking me? Also, is that a boss? The hell is that thing? That thing actually looks really cool. What is this? Is this a world boss or something? Hello. It's like from a different game, man. Weird. That's so weird. <laughs> it's cool though. Clockwork mecha blah blah blah. All right, what's up, bro? That's definitely an arena. Okay, I'm sorry I talked to you, bro. 
Yeah, I'm sorry I talked to you. I don't care. Um, try the Nemesis one. Sure. Oh, is that making me fight one or the other? What? Oh. Dude, this is actually, like, the most inventive fight I've ever seen Genshin put out. Like, what? This actually is really cool. Actually, really cool, man. Super tanky, but power creep is a thing. So, thank you. Oh, so wait a minute. Is it like a different resource per? Oh, ew. Oh, that's so bad. Ooh. And the fact that I have to interact with him in order to fight that boss, like, that's really annoying. Yeah, I heard about the Pokemon event in Star Rail. Because my buddy's been playing Star Rail. Lots of people always talk about it in a good light, it's just... No. no that, was, that was pretty tanky for a Genshin boss. Normally I destroy them, like, in half the time. Please bless us with a bright and healthy child. We pray. I don't know why you always feel the need to ask so much. I'll be happy as long as our child is healthy and lives a peaceful life. <laughs> I guess if there are, kid, then there's no doubt they'll turn out smart. Why am I listening to these people? Maybe this is one of the customs in Fontaine. There sure are a lot of couples here. Vache. Um, my vision. Guys! I have old film effect on my screen for some reason. What's wrong? Vashe. <sighs> my vision! Why? Don't you hear that, stupid? Hyman didn't say anything. What? Welcome to the Fountain of Lucene. All the water flowing through Fontaine converges here. This music is so inappropriate for this. <laughs> to come here and wish for children. When he asked me to wait here for you, remember? Uh, right. Okay. I heard a strange voice. What do you mean? There are a lot of people here right now. The voice was coming from the fountain. Hey, you're not trying to scare Paimon, are you? Shut up, Paimon. I see. I might be able to tell you something that could help explain the voice you heard. They added a normal enemy that has a boss health bar. <laughs> like in Fontaine here? I mean, power creep, man. What can I say? That's that's, that's definitely what it is. That's funny. It's probably like an enemy you're not supposed to fight. I would assume, anyway. Voice have to do with elemental power. When do you cry, Paimon? I don't think it ever cries. Wait, what? What does that have to do with anything? Just answer me. When do you cry? It doesn't cry. Also, I never cry. I'm way too manly. Then you should understand that tears contain your most intense emotions. Okay. Like I just mentioned, the Fountain of Lucene is where all the flowing water in Fontaine converges. Even the tears that fall to the ground will eventually gather here. So, okay. It's a super salty fountain. So maybe what you heard was the intense emotion coming from someone's tears. The tears of my enemies. The tears of my enemies. I'm not sure whether I'd buy that. I don't know. It was calling someone's name, not me. If you were hearing their emotions, then Paimon wonders what happened to them. Rather than worrying about them, we should worry about my brother first. Don't let that calm look of his fool you. He tends to get pretty nervous just before a performance. 
so chatting with Linny might help him relax a little before he goes on stage. Oh, right. That makes sense. Let's go in and see Linny. Like, this is, th this is kind of the perspective that I'm trying to kind of, like, the picture I'm trying to paint here whenever I, like, complain about the story and stuff, guys. We went from fighting gods. <laughs> and now we're just randomly trying to, like, Talk a dude like up for a magic act. <laughs> like the stakes are all over the place in this game. Like we we already even went through the story and proved Traveler is an alien from outer space. So it's like you'd think that the rules of the words of men would carry no weight. Oh, no one's here. Why are you nervous? Good to see you. The voices, the voices, the voices. Come. Are you kidding? We want to miss it for the world. We've been looking forward to it. <laughs> I can tell, judging by how early you've arrived. But wait, are we early? Right oh. The audience still hasn't started entering the venue yet, which means now is the perfect chance for us to take you to the best seats in the house. Wait just a moment. I'll fetch the tickets. Ayo? I mean, hey, I'll take a magic act. The Opera House has assigned seating, so you always have to make reservations. I've already reserved your seats, and here are your tickets. Uh-oh. Ooh, front row seats! Thanks, Linny! Don't mention it. There's no need to keep thanking me. Uh, okay. <laughs> hey, Linny! Could you come over here and take a look at this? Oh, I'll be right there. Seems there's an issue with the stage props over there. All right. That's yeah, we'll just go to our seats. Yeah, go do your job, bro. Don't worry. I'm gonna go sit down. I assume it's upstairs. Nope, never mind. Whoa. Woo! Oh, the <laughs> it's the freaking, uh, the, what do you call it? The magic emporium or entorium or whatever? From uh, Marvel. Your other message got deleted, Jan. I didn't. All I saw was you say no deal. Wait, who's sitting beside me? Hello? Oh, you're in the banner right now. What? What? conversation with the person next to us since we're sitting together and the rest of the place is practically empty still it's kind of awkward if we don't say anything the traveler can't talk by month so shut up uh, you little... <laughs> of course you put this on Paimon. yeah you're the only one with a voice actor excuse me i did not realize you felt awkward i am terribly sorry okay i would be perfectly happy to chat with you if that is what you would like So you heard all of that, did ya? <laughs> Boy, you sure have good ears. Paimon thought she was keeping her voice down. The whole place is reverberating. Uh, wait, that's not it, Paimon. Sorry. Um. Paimon Shut up, Paimon. Oh, Paimon's got it. You're also here early and sitting in the front. Are you a friend of Linny's too? A friend, you say? Well, if Mr. Linny would like to be my friend, I would be more than happy to reciprocate. Why do you talk funny? Oh, so you're not friends with Linny then. Oh, this is getting more awkward by the second. Ah, uh, Paimon nearly forgot to make her introduction. Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon and this is the Traveler. We just arrived in Vaudain. It is an honor to meet you two. I have heard of your deeds across Tavat. Oh. And as required by proper etiquette, I will also introduce myself. I am... Is he a robot? Oh, Monsieur Nervillet. What an honor it is to have you here to see my show. Ah, Mr. Linney. I should say it is in fact an honor for me to see your performance in person. Oh, wait. Nervillet? Could he be... What? Hmm? I saw you all chatting just now. But it seems you still don't know who Monsieur Nervillet is. 
allow me to introduce you to Fontaine's Chief Justice. That seat is always reserved for him. It wouldn't be too much to say that he's the symbol of justice and honesty here in Fontaine. Wait, the stage is the court? Ooh. <laughs> uh, sorry for being so rude just now. Paimon had no idea you were such an important person. No offense taken. Being Chief Justice is merely what I do for work. Nearly every person has their usual reserved seat, so I'm not so special, really. I recognize his voice from another game. And by the way, I should probably let you know, even though I would prefer not to, there's someone sitting up there in the VIP seats that has been striking a pose for quite a while now. I believe she is trying to give you a most elegant and impressive first impression. So I think you should take notice of her sooner rather than later. Otherwise, she may become flustered. Hi, Hydro Archon. You suck. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Huh? Oh, Ugh. It's Farina, the Hydro Archon. <laughs> she sure has a smug and satisfied look on her face. Guess she has no idea that you saw right through her act. Very good. That is for the best. No need to pay her any more attention. <laughs> we may now enjoy the show. I do like that he's undermining her. Huh? So is this what things are like between the Chief Justice and the Hydro Archon? All right. Please wait. Yeah, he's basically time. Water Zhongli, I guess. I've finished my preparations and the performance will start as soon as the audience has made their way to their seats. Yay! The show is finally about to start. Let's go. The crowd enters the venue and curtains open. Okay. Ooh, shut up, Paimon! Shut up! Hmm. Uh, sorry. Paimon will try to stay quiet. Yeah, be quiet. Just sit down. Welcome, one and all, to the Opera Epicles. I am the star of today's show, Linny. And over here is my sister, Lynette, who will be working as my wonderful assistant. Please, let's give her a warm welcome. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Why are you depressed? She may seem to be a little sleepy right now, but that's just a sign that she's nervous. Whatever. Now, some of you <laughs> may be thinking, two vision holders who can freely manipulate elemental powers performing magic is not true magic at all. So, I would like to take a moment to assure you that elemental powers will have nothing to do with what you will witness on the stage today. I kind of feel like this should have been a cutscene. Both Lynette and myself have removed our visions for the show. That way, even the gods won't be able to help us. Oh, good point. That's what makes the show real magic. Now, without further ado, let the show begin. Lynette will now exit the stage to make some preparations. I know you might miss her, but don't worry. She'll be coming right back on stage momentarily. Perhaps in an unexpected way. I'm sure she'll be stealing the spotlight soon enough. Oh, and before I forget, there's one more thing I should say. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. Yeah, and? And what else? Oh, a magician's greatest skill. Oh, now he actually sounds better. Things disappear or appear. The possibilities are endless. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, bro. No! Bro! Oh my god! He's a witch! But this isn't what you came for. These little tricks, you've seen them all before. So it's time for something truly extraordinary, don't you think? This one's a little tricky. What? Using oh, are they gonna have prestige? I shall make my <laughs> sister vanish completely right before your very eyes. 
Are they gonna prestige us? Characters can breathe underwater in this it's universe. Quite simple. By the way. She'll just turn into air bubbles and float right out of the top. Like there's no stakes. You can breathe while you're exploring. Like no. Oh no. I told them to check all the props carefully. With the lid on, even air can't escape. An amateur magician would be getting very nervous right around now. <laughs> Luckily, it's me on stage, so let me show you what a true virtuoso can do. Oh, she's naked, you guys. Lynette, are you still there? Don't go too far. We don't want to use up all our magic. Hi, I'm back. Uh huh? Guys, they prestiged us. Now I just want to watch Prestige. Okay, cool. Shut up, Paimon! If we could see easily through his tricks, then that would mean that his skills are still lacking. To appreciate magic, you should focus on the show happening on stage, rather than getting caught up in trying to see that which has been intentionally hidden. Huh. Guess you're right. Paimon couldn't believe her eyes when Lynette reappeared. Damn, dude, this is like a standing ovation. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm glad you enjoyed that performance. But... Our magical journey has only just begun. I've prepared even more astonishing surprises for everyone here. The magic of transformation and disappearance can go far beyond what you've just seen. I'm sure many of you are thinking that escaping the water tank was impressive enough. But Lynette is still my assistant. You know what would have been cooler? Is if he was a scumbag, like, just stealing from everybody. But I'm pretty sure there's, like, a rule in China where you can't play as the bad guy. That's why they never give us uh, the bad guys as characters unless they convert them, like Wanderer. In which case, I have ample time to make all necessary preparations. So, for my next trick, I will require the participation of one... Me, 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 me. Please. If my assistants could bring out the magical boxes now... Teleport me. There are two boxes, and only two boxes. One is here, and one is there in the aisle among the audience. I'm sure many of our clever audience members have already guessed our next magic trick. <laughs> A swap. <laughs> they are just ripping off prestige. <laughs> our lucky audience <laughs> member and I will each enter a magic box. After one minute, we will each emerge from the opposite box. Now, please, everyone pay very close attention to the box you see here. Don't give me any chance to make a move. Wow, how's he gonna do this? I don't know, a temporal portal? Hey, do you think this is all magic tricks, or does Lenny have actual superpowers? We live in the same world of a dragon. The lucky audience member will be generated by this random number selector. It selects numbers entirely at random. Even I don't know who will be chosen to participate. Now then, let's begin. Me! It's so random, you guys. Oh, uh, let me see. Oh, row 7, seat 3. Congratulations! Please. Oh, is that the thief? My assistant will take you beside the magic box. Nope, never mind. Sorry, it might be a little cramped inside, but no need to feel Just a copy and paste NPC. <laughs> everything for you to be as comfortable as possible. You don't need to do anything, but no matter what strange things may happen, don't come out of the box. If the magic is interrupted, who knows where you might end up? You might even find yourself in the Fortress of Meripede. What? What? What's oh. that? <laughs> okay. All right. Before I enter the magic box, there is one more thing I need to ask the audience to do. 
Could you all give me a countdown? Like this. 60, 59, 58. Just keep counting down. You can go a little faster or slower if you like. How about 10 seconds? I won't be able to see anything in the pitch black box, so I'll be relying on your voices to know when time is up. <laughs> yeah, Pi yeah, exactly, Azeroth. Paimon, flying with ethereal dust. Are they using magic? Oh, and no <laughs> tricks now. If you quickly count from 60 in just 30 seconds... Shut up, okay? Like, get on with it, bro. No, that won't do the build-up's not going to be worth it. Repeat up. 60! That's right, perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I am counting in my merely a consequence of my. Oh, all right. You look so serious. That yeah, 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 yeah. Let's let's get on with it. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. It would be a disaster if we get sent to the wrong. Even though he's saying that, Lenny doesn't. Ah, what was that noise? Did you hear it too? Not sure. Anyway, it doesn't seem. To... What's wrong, Mr. Lenny? I seem to have accidentally knocked over a decoration. I'm trying to fix I'm in the music stepping up. Never mind the decorations. There's no time for that. No, that's unacceptable. I want my show to be perfect. Don't worry. We uh, it seems things aren't quite going as it feels like you're all starting to count faster, but that's alright. I know ten seconds and change. Ten. Oh there we go. Okay, jeez. Swapping two people is harder work than you might think. Even a master magician like me can't guarantee I'll get it right the first time. <laughs> hey, wait. Is this the back one? I can't tell. They both look the same inside. Huh? No, that's not it. I'll try again. Seven! Hey, slow down! Six, Honestly! Five! Four! Three! Uh, whoops! Two, that doesn't count! <laughs> it's me, Tyranitar. All right, where's the girl? Oh, she's dead? I hope so. <laughs> Come on, please be dead and turn into a mystery or something. I think she's okay. What happened? <sighs> Alright, cool, I guess. Now let's have Paimon talk for 20 minutes. Is this part of the show? <laughs> yes! Yes, it's just part of the show. What happened? Oh no. Maybe this isn't part of the show. You think? The girl was still in that box, right? No, no, no. She was she was out. This performance is over. Medical staff with me. Guards secure the scene and detain all the performers. Seal the exits. No one is allowed in or out at this time. <laughs> so maybe she was the thief. If this was just an accident, then we must investigate the cause. But if this was all part of some scheme, then then those accountable will not escape the judgment of the god of justice wow you sound so certain <laughs> no need to be alarmed you two we'll get to the bottom of this soon enough unfortunately the person who is in the magic box has been pronounced dead his name was cowell one of the assistants in linny's magic troop Apparently, the fireworks on stage ignited the ropes that were suspending the water tank, which then caused the tank to fall onto the stage. I mean, they would have moved the prop to begin with, but okay. Also, hi, Flint. As of now, we are still not sure why we found Cowl in the box, rather than the guest from the audience. And after an initial search of the area, the guards have confirmed that the girl is nowhere to be found. It appears that this incident was not merely some mishap with the performance, and there are many indications that it is connected with the case of the serial disappearances of young women. Wait, so that was real? I thought it was part of the novel. Okay. Uh, the, the serial disappearances case? <gasps> That's the case that Charlie mentioned before! Oh, how convenient. <laughs> I know. I know the truth. I can see through the 
whole thing. Really, using such a shallow and obvious mystery as his finale. Did he really underestimate us that badly? A man just died. <laughs> I know the truth. Like, I hate her. I say that our powerful magician, Mr. Linny, is now the prime suspect. Oh wow! Oh oh my God! You're you're so like malevolent. You you feel so powerful and so smart. Oh wow! Huh? Why me? This whole thing was an accident. What do you mean, why you? Like obviously he's a prime suspect. Like. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to calm down and go into it with an open mind. But Jesus Christ. Magicians making things disappear was nothing more than a provocation of that can't be right. How can Lenny do this? He was in the box on the stage the entire time. We can even hear his voice. I mean the sister would be the actual prime suspect, but sure, whatever. Besides, before the show, he told us that he would like to catch the criminal behind the disappearances. Save discussion for a later time, please. Lady Farina. May I assume Who conveniently his sister is gone too, but okay. ...against Mr. Linny and his associates. Huh? I just think that he... Well, I, uh, think it might be a little early to talk about formally pressing charges. But what Lady Farina said just now makes perfect sense. Looks like she's gonna personally deliver justice. What? A kidnapping and murder carried out under the cover of a magic show. Lady Farina said it all. These people are idiots. <laughs> uh, I mean, of course, my dear people. But what excites me even more than the obvious truth before our eyes is the opponent I'll be facing. That's right. I mean, you, traveler. Huh? You'll support Lenny, won't you? After all, he was the one who helped you the first time we met. No, 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 no. I don't know him, okay? <laughs> then there's no problem at all. You know, the traveler and I already had a duel the first time we met. No, we didn't. But with Lenny's help, little duel ended in a draw <laughs> but draws really are the most boring possible outcome so no more draws she's like the lamest like even over nahida and, and nahida was weak and what better place to hold such a riveting showdown and decide the true victor than here yeah yeah i'm looking forward to the detective stuff i just wish it would get to the point <laughs> Understand. Charges have now been pressed, and as such, a trial is in order. Well, traveler, seems Lady Farina has set you in her sights. But putting her dramatic rhetoric aside for a moment, I would like to ask you: Are you willing to act as Mr. Linny's attorney and defend him in this case? What'd you say, bro? You're like 20 feet away from me. I can't hear you. Very well. The trial will be held a day from now in the Opera House. Both sides may investigate the scene to build their cases and search for the truth. Linny and his troop are all potential suspects and shall remain within the Opera House. The audience may begin to leave in an orderly fashion once they have been cleared by the guards. A day isn't that long. Let's see what kind of case this big shot outlander can build in such a short amount of time. <laughs> I'm really quite looking forward to No, again, like, why are they undermining the fact that someone was just killed? Like, I thought that was a big deal, but apparently it didn't matter and it's just spectacle here. I, you know what? Because the writer forgot. Let's be real. Everyone's dismissed and the audience begins to leave. Lenny! Hey, idiot. I mean, uh... Sorry about everything that happened just now. Were you frightened? By what? Like that. Oh, no, I, for many, many weeks, I fought God, so that's nothing. Yeah, I'm a little shaken up myself. How could this happen? I know you already claimed that you would defend me, but now it's just us talking. Tell me, do you think I could possibly be the murderer? It's hard to say. I understand. 
Even I'm not sure what happened, so I can only imagine how difficult it is for you to grasp the situation. What about the sister? I'm sure everyone sees me as the biggest suspect at this point. But, if you ask me, the whole thing is mysteries layered upon mysteries, such that all that's left is confusion. I don't know whether what happened there on the stage was purely an accident or not, and I don't know why poor Cal was in the box. As for how that girl chosen from the audience could suddenly disappear, I'm afraid I don't have any answers either. If someone tampered with my performance, then we need to figure out what they did. Even a skilled and knowledgeable magician like myself couldn't pull all that off in just one minute. I mean, I guess not. Which is precisely why we need to investigate. As this book says, <clears throat> the impossible... As what book says? Happen. What? Whatever happened must have been that which is possible. <laughs> Wait, where'd you get those? She should just keep those on for the rest of the game, dude. I think they look cute on you, Paimon. That's the first thing you say after someone was murdered? You have good taste, Lynette. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right attitude. Feeling depressed isn't going to help me now. I need to get back to my normal self. Good lord! Like, again! Someone died! But with the guards watching our every move, it's going to be especially difficult for Lynette and I- These people are sociopaths. Like, legit. Good thing you agreed to be our attorneys. I I could see them killing people easily if they just move on this quickly. Yes, thank you so much. Hey, shut up! Yeah, just leave it to us. No, she's my main suspect right now. Since we're going to start investigating, Paimon has a question first. Where did Lynette go during the performance? Oh, well, I'm afraid that would involve some of our essential trade secrets as magicians. <laughs> You're being accused of murder. You have to show me legally. The secrets behind our magic are past saving, Linny. I suppose you're right. The truth behind our tricks is going to be important evidence that will be weighted during the trial. <sighs> Tis truly a pity. As a magician, our magic show is a work of Yeah, 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 it's okay. Secrets will help you uncover I'm just waiting to get out of this long dialogue tree, man. We should go somewhere else if we're going to discuss our magic tricks. We'll go speak with the guards, and in the meantime, you can go investigate the stage and the seating areas. All right, let's go have a look while the investigation teams are still here. Detect okay, am I finally in gameplay now? Good lord, oh my god, no. How's the investigation going? Ah, uh, I see. You must be the traveler that Lady Farina mentioned. Listen, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I'd avoid getting mixed up in this whirlpool of a mess if I were you. Huh? What do you mean? Come with me and you'll see. Oh, okay. The deceased is one of Linny's assistants named Cal. Even though he hadn't joined the troop long, he was hardworking and everyone generally liked him. The assistants are usually in charge of setting up and inspecting the props, as well as assisting with the show and keeping the crowd engaged. As you probably saw when you were in the audience, the water tank suddenly fell and smashed the box. Honestly, if they wanted to have this story get more impact, pardon the pun, squished guy, uh, they should have killed like an actual character, like one of the playable characters. This is the real mystery. We've already searched the scene and were unable to find any traces of the girl. However, if you look carefully, the box was positioned directly under the water tank. The ropes holding the tank were then burned by the pyrotechnics on stage, causing them to snap. All these factors lining up so perfectly makes it hard to see this as a mere accident. And again, too, like, it's like, they're, you know, they're trying to rope us in, but none of this makes sense in this world. Like, oh, the pyrotechnics burned the rope. We literally could have just had a pyro user in here that would just snap their fingers and have it burn anyway. Like... If anything, the more logical explanation is that the whole incident was intentionally planned, and Linny is the most likely person to have access to all these areas. No, because he's not a pyro character. But he doesn't have a motive! Are you both good friends of his? No, no. Well, you can't say we're good friends, but we've known each other for... Ten minutes. So in just a short time, he was not only able to win your trust, but even convince you to act as his attorneys. I know there's no such thing as magic. The real trick of a magician is holding the audience in the palm of their hand. I've seen a lot of cases. 
And I can tell you that people are the least reliable kind of evidence. Damn, dude. Sorry, I tend to be pretty straightforward. Just know that I'm warning you for your own good. Anyway, you may investigate the scene of the crime yourselves if you're curious. Who knows, maybe you'll be able to come up with some new evidence. Well, I do have elemental vision. Uh, you can use records to confirm your evidence, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure it's all automatic. It's fine. Yep. Yeah. Okay, but before we get into that, let's see here. Because I got, uh... Where is it? I got a couple more of these to spend. Or should I say waste? Here we go, guys. Oh my god. We did it. Look, look at that. Oh, here it is. Bam. All right, anyways. Uh, it is ramping up. It is pretty cool, despite the fact that, you know, I keep teasing and making fun of it. But I'm looking forward to coming back to this game. Uh, I don't know when I'll stream it next time, but I gotta make supper for the wife because she's coming home. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to actually publish some of the videos today. I've been waiting for them to process and just kept running into issues. So hopefully they're done. But anyways, I hope you guys had fun and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.